Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brandon Dawson and I'm here at Hepsiva Middle School and we're getting a sneak peek at a team getting ready for a big event that's coming up a little bit later on. And here to talk about that event, who do I have here with me today? Hi, my name is Shantae Lucky. I'm the introduction to dig digital technology teacher here at Hepsiva Middle School and I'm also the cyber coach for our Girls Who Code. And so tell us a little bit about what's going on here today. Uh, well, we're getting ready to uh, take the Search 2020 Challenge. That's going to be held next week, um, next Wednesday to be exact, at the Augusta Marriott. It's going to be a cyber challenge um, where they compete to capture the flag. Um, so right now we are just getting um, prepared, going through some of the challenges that they have set for us, just for practice rounds, just so they can kind of get acclimated with the systems and um, get a leg up on the competition. Tell us a little bit about this competition and what it's all about. Um, well, they'll be competing against other secondary uh, schools, like high schools, other middle schools. Um, they'll have to, they'll be playing a game kind of like Jeopardy. So they'll have different categories worth different amount of points, and they're going to be divided up into teams. So the team with the most points at the end um, captures the flag, and they actually win and bring home the reward at the end. And so all the stuff that they're doing is, is cyber. How important is, is cyber right now in this day and age? Um, I think it's very important. I grew up in the 80s, so technology wasn't a big thing back then, but now um, everything is technical. I mean, we live in a, a digital world, so I think it's very imperative that our students and our kids know how to use it to their benefit and to possibly advance into a career with it. I see you guys got a special guest here today. What's yeah. he doing here today? Um, I reached out to Augusta University and said, hey, can we get someone from Fort Gordon to come over and help us out? That's an expert teacher because I'm definitely not. But he came through um, today and he's helping them out, you know, teaching them about Linux and different um, coding languages that I'm not able to teach them. It's important to engage our youth. In the future, we're expecting over 300,000 new jobs in cybersecurity, never mind the rest of the IT field, such as administration. And getting children excited about this now helps guide them into it as they get older and get into high school and prepares them with the skills they'll need to succeed if they choose this path for their career. Now, is there any reason why this team is all girls? Um, well, we wanted to kind of get more girls associated and affiliated with cyber. I mean, it's a male-dominant industry, so I think it's very important that we women and young ladies can also do the same thing that guys can do. We can do it even better. All right, so who do I have with me right now? Michaela Dunn. Michaela, uh, what grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth grade. All right, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now? Okay, so right now we're practicing for our cyber challenge that we're going to be doing next Wednesday. And a lot of this stuff is familiar and a lot of it isn't. So right now we're looking at cryptography. And earlier we were looking at, where is it? Stigon Stigonography. Stigonography, okay. Yes. What's that? So basically we were looking at a picture of the squirrel and we were trying to figure out clues to figure out what we were trying to get the code for, but it wasn't the picture of the squirrel, mm -hmm. it was inside the picture. So you have to look at different codes, binary code and all that stuff to figure out what was hidden inside the picture and not on the picture. Okay, so tell me a little bit why you got into this. Um, so coding is really, it's, I don't know how to say it. It's different, and it's not something that everybody does. Like, everybody in school wants to do cheerleading and basketball and all this other stuff, but you never really see people in Hepzibah, in, er, in middle schools, girls doing code. So I figured that it would be something good to, you know, get myself into. It's actually really fun. At first, when I thought about doing code, I was like, we're just going to be making robots and all that stuff, yeah, boring, yeah, yeah. but it's actually really fun and something that maybe in the future I can look forward to doing or helping other girls get into. I really like it. You really like it? Do you do anything else at the school? Um, yes, I'm a cheerleader. Wow. <laughs> so you're like complete opposites. Of, yeah. of, very nice, very nice. The event is coming up when? Next Wednesday, January the 15th at Augusta Marriott Convention Center. We'll be sure to have a follow-up on that, and we'll be sure to let you guys know how the girls did. Reporting from Hepsiba Middle School, this is Brandon Dawson, WJBF News Channel 6.